Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just came, um, just came downstairs. I went into the garage for a moment, and heat wave. It is July. Good gracious! Someone turned up the heat, which is what we are doing tonight. So let me introduce myself. If you're not familiar with me, I am Sandy of Lolly and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And I am so happy you've come to join me this evening. We have got. Um, some cards to make and I have a bunch of things to tell you about. Let's make sure we're actually working here. I will refresh my screen. Oh yeah I was um oh I wanted to mention first before because I know I'm gonna forget because I didn't write it down. If you are not receiving my newsletter um, you're gonna want to pop over to my blog which is Lolly and Sand uh, blogspot.blogspot.com and sign up or follow here. I do post my newsletter um, in this group and I just did that yesterday. I'm going to pin it to the, the top part on Facebook so, um, so you can read it. So anyway, we have got a whole bunch going on this week. This is a very exciting week, and it's going to be busy, busy, busy. And hello, by the way. I see you've got some people joining us. Um, on this Thursday, July the 6th, the clearance rack updates. That is huge discounts, and things are going to fly. So you might want to go in early as possible and pick up some of those goodies. Other thing is that the... Um, Oh, the new online exclusives um, become available on July the 6th. Now, we've seen some of them. Um, I, I, I've even put up a graphic as well. But we haven't seen all of the products. And I've already got... I'm already ready to purchase. There's um, going to be a stamp set that has a coordinating um, truck punch, like one of those old, really cool older trucks. I call them farm trucks. I don't know what else to call them. And um, it's got, it's, I say, stamps it with a punch. And it looks so cute. So that's on my list. Boop. The rest I'll have to wait to see, just like you, on Thursday. What else? Bonus days. Bonus days start on Thursday. What are bonus days? Mm hmm. Okay. From July the 6th to July 31st, for every $60 you spend, so you don't have to place separate orders, it can be all in the same order. For every $60 you spend, you earn a $6 coupon to use in August. So, needless to say, um, I'm going to be a busy girl on Thursday. Because I don't turn down free stuff. Ever. Alright, I was going to... I think I refreshed. Let me just double check. And are we... I know I'm working because I can see people. Oh, there we are. Alrighty. Hello, Bea. Hello, Marjorie. Thank you for joining. Alrighty. What else? Oh, I think that's it. I say we get started. We're going to be... Oh, now, I just want to mention also that we already had someone guess in the comments, which was Linda, um, guess in the comments what I meant by we're turning up the heat. I put that in my little... Um, um, what do you call it? My little graphic that I... That, that usually appears about half an hour before the video goes live. And um, she guessed it, turning up the heat. We are heat embossing tonight. I love heat embossing. And we're going to be using, now this is an older set. It's still in the catalog. Color and contour. I have not shown this enough love recently. That's a mistake, because it's really pretty. All right. I don't know why my screen keeps blipping. I hope it's not doing that for you. Like my, my computer screen is blipping. So I hope, I'm hoping that yours isn't blipping as well. And there it goes again. So, actually, can someone just let me know in the comments if, if my screen is flipping? Because that means there's something going on with my internet, which is not fun. All right. In the meantime, close your eyes. I am going to turn the camera around um, and get the, and use the proper thing to turn it around and not to hit any buttons while you're doing it. And you're not going to have to look at my ugly ceiling for too long because I'll get it figured out right away. And I did. And I'm going to move you up. Here we go. Get all my notes to the side. I'm just going to look at the 
Um, did I, oh, no. Oh, there's always a delay in comments, so I don't know if my screen is also blipping for you or not. I just hope not. Let's get this a little straighter. That's good. And we've always got the glare because, well, you need light, right? So I need light so you can see, and I need lights <clears throat> so I can see. Anyway, so there's our stamp set. It is photopolymer, so I will be using um, the Stamp and Pierce mat. Okay, and no one said if the screen's blipping for them as well. So I'm going to say that it's all good. Um, if you miss the beginning, I've, I've typed. Is that what you do with it? Yeah, typed already in the in the um, description uh, all the goodies that are going on. But we're going to go over them anyway. Here's the stamp set. Now I have two sets of dies. We're using, well, actually there's three, but two sets of dies. So these are the, let me get the name right, scalloped contour dies. So all these dies go with this stamp set right here. Okay, Bea says it is fine. So good, it's just my screen acting silly. Did I say hi, Elsie? Hi, Elsie. <laughs> I forget. Good memory. Um, they're really cool because these scallops are really cute, which would explain the scallop contours. On the other side, we have the basic border dies, and I'll show you how I use those in the card. So we're making two cards, and I'm going to show you a third one at the end of the video. Um, everything I show you is available at my online store, and my host code is in the description. Alrighty, so what we're going to do first is our heat embossing. We're going to do all the heat embossing first. So this paper, I'll show you the opposite side. You'll probably recognize it. This is from Bright and Beautiful, and I call it the Balloon Suite that is at close to the beginning of the um, pages in the catalog. So you'll see it there. And I really, really like this ombre look. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to do this one first. All right, so we're going to heat emboss this flower. I'll show you on this side. I've got something in there, but it's not on the stamp. I think, yeah, it's just, it's just goo on my stamp set. Um, when you're heat embossing, as you probably know, and if you don't, oh yeah, you don't need all this stuff. This is my extra stuff. You need your embossing buddy, you need your Versamark, and you need your heat embossing powder of your choice. And mine for this card is all going to be in white. That makes the heat embossing quick and easy. And I have to tell you, you should see how many flowers I heat embossed the other day just to have lots going. So um, what I noticed, though, and I'll... I'll I think I actually die cut some of them is I went a little bit too far over into the um, the light and you could actually see on the card like it looks like it's split down the center in color so I would suggest when you do it moving over to this side there's a way to hide that so I'm not too terribly worried and I don't want to I do if you want to waste the paper I'm going to start up here actually so I'm just taking the embossing buddy and putting that brushing it brushing it across the top of I'm only going to use this area so and I am going to go into this because I don't want to waste paper we are not paper wasters if nothing else we are not paper wasters it does make it a little bit hard when <laughs> when you're doing this to see where your images are now I cannot fit three across so I'm actually gonna I am going to stick to this spot over here and I am pressing down um, reasonably hard on that. Hey, I'm going to put the powder on. I, I never know if you, somebody out there know the answer to this. If you were to do like a ton of heat embossing, um, and what you did is you, you did all your embossing like or stamping like I did, and if you left it, and let's say you were doing, I don't know, 10 or 15 images, would this dry up or would it stay good and sticky so the embossing powder sticks? I do not know that. So if anyone knows the answer to that, let me know in the comments. So I don't, I don't mind waiting to actually do the, using the heat tool, but I don't want to wait with the powder. So I don't, I actually, it's funny, I don't know the answer to that one. Alrighty, so here's the other sheet again. I've used those stars on cards and it's very pretty. Alright, for this one, I need, well I can't use that. <laughs> I'll have to heat emboss one more thing too. But I'm going to get that out now before I. Oh no, I did that one. I have to do this one. I didn't do it and I wanted to do it. So, okay, so here's this one, and I'm going to need do, 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 this image and the sentiment and two of these flowers. So, a bigger area. 
for this, I'm sticking to the dark, the darkest blue, which this looks like Misty Moonlight. It could be, it could be Night of Navy, but I'm going with Misty Moonlight. I have to think about where I'm going to be stamping this. Okay. So I just did a whole bunch just in case. So let's get this on the large image. And with all large images, leave your stamp set down and bring the stamp pad, ink pad to it. Okay, so like I said, I want this to be the darkest. So this will go so much glare. It's hard to see. This will go right here. And then that looks good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance and not do as many as I usually do. You know, where I do two of, like, everything. Because you would have to know I have these cut out already. Um, uh, so over here. I'm still going to use these. And then for this, this is the sentiment that comes right out of the stamp set, which says, so very happy for you. And I put it on there crooked, which isn't completely going to matter, but I do want it to be stamped somewhat straight. And over the section of um, where it's nice and dark ombre so the white shows so let's do this one and then heat embossing and then we assemble how easy is that alrighty so if you have a pen handy I want to give you a reminder that um, Jen Kirk and I are teaming up again and we are doing another card making event. We just did our Fun Fold Frenzy and we're going to be doing holiday cards on October 21st. I tried to save that date. That looks very good. I like it. I like it. Um, and oh, and coming up in what, two weeks? We have my BOGO sale. Ah, so it's my seventh year of doing BOGO sales. So the link is not out yet because it's too early for that. The, um, what do I want? Oh, I want the splatter. This is also, if you're wondering how to use splatter, this is what I'm going to do. Now, since I don't know exactly where everything's getting placed, we're kind of playing this one. We're just kind of making it up as we go. Anyway, so the link to my BOGO sale will go out on my newsletter, and I will post it here. It won't be live. It's not ready yet. I was just gathering up all my uh, stamp set, and so far... Um, not including bundles, I have 50 stamp sets that will go up for sale. They'll be nicely reduced in price, which is awesome. And BOGO um, means you buy, you purchase from my BOGO, you get those items free when you place the equivalent, equivalent priced order. I'll probably be placing the order for you. Now, before I do anything, that was the splatter. One here, one down here. Um, I'm closing this. That is too much embossing powder to lose in case I do something goofy. And I am going to bring out my silicone mat. Um, I think it can take the heat better than than the, um, well, I know it can, than the piercing mat. The piercing mat just ensures that we get a really nice, uh, nice stamped image. You know why my screen's going out? Earlier today, I just remembered, earlier today, I made the mistake of trying to close my computer. I don't know why. It's broken. You can't close it. It will not work. And right now it's sitting there not working. So I'm really sorry. I can't see any of your comments right now. Um, and I do like when you comment. Facebook really likes when you comment. I have to move this over because my, my outlet is way over on the wall. So... We're just waiting for the shine to happen, the magic. Once we get to the next ones, it'll go really fast because this will be nice and warmed up. You ever wondered what to do with splatter? This is it. Use it randomly. Use it on purpose. It doesn't really matter, but it makes a cool, a cool little backdrop. Almost. I want to see everything being shiny. All right, one down. Next.
Anyway, I'm excited for the BOGO because I only decided I was doing it uh, like last Friday, I think. So just a few days ago and and, uh, and then you have to go into super high mode to get everything ready, get it photographed, get it onto the document. <sighs> but I seem to enjoy the craziness, so we're doing it. Come on. You know what would be funny? Why don't we do this? Let's put this underneath and any excess heat maybe we'll get that one. You never know. This is a larger image, so I'm definitely looking. If I'm going to miss a spot, it's going to be over here or it's going to be at the end or like a branch greenery or something. Does anyone ever get tired of the magic? Not me. I think I'm like a kid in a candy store. Or when I'm creating, um... Ah! I just set that down there. I probably wrecked those a little bit. Um, when I'm creating different marble runs with my grandson, I honestly think I have more fun than him. I didn't, I don't believe I had a marble run as a kid. I had Spirograph. He probably did too. Spirograph and puzzles. Tons and tons of puzzles. Love puzzles. Yeehaw. Let's get them both heated up. See how quick it happens when your heat gun is... There we go. When your heat gun is heated up, yeah, and I don't think I really wrecked that at all. And even if I did, which if you look kind of here, I can tuck that under and you'll never see it. That would be all the heat, heat embossing required for the two cards, except the one has a sentiment. So as mentioned, shocking, that I have this already cut out. I wonder if I can get my screen back or if it's totally gone. Nah, it's totally gone. Rats. It was going to happen one of these days. Okay, my friends. Like I said, I'm so sorry I can't read your comments at all. So I'll use my other computer. Okay, let's start with the base. Shockingly, the base is... is this is Lost Lagoon. So one, it's not white. So that is a shock, isn't it? Um, two, it is four and a quarter by 11, squared at five and a half. And I forgot to do this. I already, I already lined it up to make sure... In my um, trimmer to make sure all the, everything was squared. So... There's the piece I heat embossed, and I, this is the basic borders die, and this is, of course, that paper we talked about. That's going to go right there. So the size of this paper, I wanted it to go top to bottom, so I actually cut it, the whole piece, the exact same side size as the base. So this is, well, the base one is fold in half, four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I just die cut as straight as I could, like so. And this can get put put together so let's I hope this is the glue I wanted alrighty let's go ahead and then we will uh, we'll get the card going oh it's got a gigantic chunk of glue on it so get rid of that and let's go again it has been upside down so hopefully there we go hey did anyone else I think it was I think it was July the 1st. Oh, yes, by the way, happy 4th of um, July to our American friends um, and happy belated Canada Day to the Canadian friends. Um, there was a storm that passed through. I think it was on the 1st. And we just got torrential rain, that's all. But today I took my grandson down to um, a farm called DeVries, De Vries with a V, not an F. So, by the way, when I glue this, as always, like I say, I always put it, have to stand it up and push it down to the one side. That ensures that you get it squared. Now, it seems to be a teeny bit long, and I will maybe cut that off later. Anyway, so we're driving down the street, and there's crews out cleaning up all of the, the tree mess that's all over the place. And I had seen on um, Instagram that DeVries, it was just moments 
it, it only took a moment, and the um, they had a they had wind come through, and it took trees down. It took down their big outside tent, um, and you know those gigantic apple crates that they store, all the all the big places store. Those things were flung around like like they were paper. Total mess. All right, so check this out. This. I hope it looks as shiny to you as it does to me here, because I just think it's gorgeous. Um, this is, now I wrote it down because I knew I'd forget. What are you called? Umamento. Oh, it's really bright, really bright, really bright, really bright. No. I have the package right here. I knew I'd forget. Okay. Oh, more dazzle. Here we go. More dazzle. And I die cut that, and if you can see the little lines, I die cut it using one of the um, stylish shape dies. And that's just going to go here. So, and that gets glued down. And you know how I always say, you know, you don't go too crazy on the glue? Well, this is different paper, so I'm putting a little bit more on than usual. And I just feel like it's going to go about here. I don't have a sample for this, so this is it. Now, here they are, die cut. And you'll notice there's an extra one because one of them will get popped up and it's DSP and it's thin. So I wanted to give whichever piece, I think it might be this one that's getting it. I just, it's the exact same, just die cut in basic white. And I just wanted it to have a little bit more um, structure behind it. So I will do this one. So a little bit, the glue is, it, it looks like so much glue is coming out, but it really isn't. And I had it lined up, and we'll just line it up again. And I like to stick to this part when I'm lining things up. So there we go. We're a little gluey. Oh, yeah. There we go. If you don't get glue on your fingers, you really haven't made a card. <laughs> that's, that's my theory. Now, remember when I said on the paper that I'd cut these, like, too close to the edge? That's what happened. So what I'm going to do is put one that direction, so you'll see mostly the darker, and then one that direction, this one will kind of go here, ish. I might put them closer together. And I thought this ribbon was gone. So when I was using doing my um, uh, Bogo sale, uh, this is in the online store. Uh, on, on, yeah, it's only on, it's not in the catalog. It's in an online store and glittered organdy ribbon. So if you like that ribbon as much as me, that's where you can get it. All right, paper snips. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, so we'll just toss it down and see what happens. Maybe we'll just go something like that. <gasps> nah. Nah. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Maybe like that. And just have the two ends. I would probably like that. Okay. I'm thinking. I, I don't make rib bows out of this. I find it too um, too crunchy. Or do I want to do that but have it shorter? I might do that. Okay, decision. And we're just going to cut that on an angle. And that one is not cut on an angle. So we'll do that. You can tell when you have glue on your fingers because your ribbon sticks to it. Alrighty. My daughter used these the other day. I said, um, that's that's not ribbon. That's not paper. You can't use those. Anyway, she used them. She goes, are these ever sharp? And I'm like, yes. Yes, they are. You are correct. Let's see if this will... See if this will hold on here. I don't know. Nope, I don't feel a thing. Oh, it's driving me crazy that I can't see anything on the computer. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Okay, there, there, and the sentiment. Okay, so the sentiment is from um, Artistically Inked, and I just felt I wanted something a little bit darker on this, so I heat embossed the sentiment in black. Oh, and I am going to, oh, and, and oh, by the way, this is also on the same piece of paper, um, the bright and beautiful. So I took, I just hand cut, well, I had a strip, cut off the ends and glued a piece of um, whisper, or it's not whisper white anymore, basic white to it, um, just again, to hold it in place. All right, so we're going to need some dimensionals. So let's bring those in. And let's pop this guy up. He's getting, he will be up. Not putting it on the sentiment yet because I'm not 100% sure where that's going to go. 
There we go. Again, driving me crazy. Is there anything I can do? Nope. Nope. Can't make it come back. When it's gone, it's gone. Your computer is pooched. It's my old one that I that was broken anyway. I could use it just to look at. Mostly. Alright, and that won't kind of go there. I don't want them to be even because I find that super kind of boring. Hmm, not sure I'm going to do that. And then, oh, I might go, oh, that one moved. I could go here and put this here. You know, they don't have to be even or any of that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Oh, you know what I just noticed? I did not get out any embellishments. What? I think I've gone crazy. I think I've gone crazy. Seriously. Did I already mention that if you happen to share my um, video, that really helps me out? Facebook likes it. If, but if you're watching on, on um, YouTube, please subscribe. And by the way, my friends are watching live right now. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, it would be lovely if you did. That way you can see all the videos without having to scroll through. Although, there's lots of good content here as well. But if you just want videos... YouTube is the place to be, and click that bell so you know, are notified when I upload. Because you can't be here all the time. Sooner or later, you're going to have vacation, right? You are. All right, so mini dimensionals. If you don't have the minis, cut the big ones in half. And I'm just balancing this right now. And balancing just means I want, you know, shape and stuff. So I'm not super keen on this. So roll a ribbon look at that almost to the end just want to see if I can put that where you can see it and yeah I might just put another one under for a little bit more okay that doesn't have to be that long okay so we're gonna do some more tricks watch the magic all right we need these guys Did I, I think I told you last week that I just got a TV for my craft room. And um, I found myself just watching it and not crafting. <laughs> okay, big mistake. So um, I thought, well, I'm going to watch something that I've seen so I can just listen to it. And that would be Bohemian Rhapsody on Disney. And I have seen it now less than 10 times. But I just love the movie. So I keep watching it. Loved the music, loved Live Aid, all of that. Okay, this one might be a little trickier because, oh, I can get it under there. Oh, I can so get that under there. Alrighty. I don't want you to see the glue dots. Okay, and this means I'm gonna cut this one down just a little bit and checking that angle. And it's going to go the same direction, not a different direction. Wait. Yeah, same direction. Had to think about it for a second. Boop. Alrighty. I feel the urge to put some embellishment on, but for now, let's get to card number two. Okay, so card number two, similar but different. Move some things away so I have some space. This, oh my goodness, I didn't do the inside. Hold the fort, my friends. Okay. So remember that piece I took off of here? I'm going to put it right here. I thought that would look really cool. And the way I want to space it is about here. Because that will be half of this bump and half of that bump. I'm not going to cut it until we're ready. I'm also not going to glue this. I'm going to glue this as straight as I can. And not quite at the bottom. So let's go. And go, and go, and go. I don't know why, I just don't like the piece of paper. The DSP, if that's if that's what I'm using, or whatever I'm using. I don't like it to be right at the bottom. So, simply cut these off. One. I will, um, hopefully later, maybe tomorrow, because I have to do a whole bunch of um, photography, maybe tonight. So I have my grandson pretty much the rest of the week. Um, um, but I will read all your comments, I promise. So keep commenting. I will, I will read them. And 
Oh, make sure it's the right size. Okay, so this piece is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And as I always say, you do not have to put a ton of glue on. That paper is not going anywhere. Isn't that pretty? So I actually didn't waste any of that paper using my wiggle room, my wiggle time. There we go. So this piece of paper, straight inside. Next, okay, now we can get to the Misty Moonlight card. Here we go. Misty Moonlight, four and a quarter, shocking, by 11 square to five and a half. That is two cards I have not used a white base on. I'm sure you're very proud of me. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing, so I went ahead and put these on. And you'll notice I used another one of the dies, and there's the extra piece there, which, you guessed it, we're going to use. So that's for the inside of the card, so I don't forget, I'll put it right here. Alrighty. And here's what we're using. So there's the sentiment. And again, I do not have two flowers. I do not have... Um, a card, we're flying by the seat of our pants. Again, this is DSP, so I decided to cut the exact same image in Misty Moonlight. So if it was, if this was white, I would use white, but because this is blue, I don't, if it was to not be even in any way, I don't want anyone to see that. Because it's our secret, right? This is our little secret. Yeah. Alrighty. Most uncooperative glue bottle I think I've experienced in some time. I don't want it to gush out. I just want all the little pieces to stick. Alrighty. And I'm going to do it this way and then pick it up. And then pick it up and line it up best I can. Perfect. So that's nice and strong now. Now for the base. So again, this piece started out as four and a quarter by five and a half. It's going to go edge to edge as well. We There we go. And over. Make sure I'm doing it the right way. And I think you all know, we've all, we have all, every last one of us probably done a card upside down. And if you haven't, you are my hero. Beautiful. Okay, so that's on. Um, nope, didn't, I was thinking, did I double that up? I couldn't quite remember. So this one's a little bit different. Go like that. This will be about here. If you're wondering where I got this um, um, idea from, I was really stumped this week. I don't know why. I was really, really, really stumped. So I opened up the catalog, and I have to tell you, there are a ton of of resources in there, an absolute ton. Let me go down a little bit lower. What I was thinking is hoping is that I could, yeah, I want everything kind of to touch, but I'm not exactly sure of how high or over I want that. So regardless, we're gonna, again, fly by the seat of our pants, glue that on, probably a little higher than, than I would want, but I need to make sure everything fits. This is going up on dimensionals. Um, this part, not to worry. I had that figured out. <laughs> oh, I had it figured out on, on card number three, which is waiting in the wings to show you. And you'll be equally as shocked that that one is also not on a white card base. <sighs> Am I reformed? I don't think so. I still love white card bases. Nothing's changing there. I probably could have used the black dimensionals, but these are the dimensionals that are um, close close on hand. We'll leave it like that for now. Yep, kind of like that. That's what I'm looking for. So this is getting glued down. I If I don't pop something up on the card, I feel really weird about it. Now, when we did those shaker cards last week, I don't think I did any popping up because the shakers already popped. You know my rule about everything touching. It's not my rule, actually. This is totally not how I planned this card, by the way. I had it in my head how I was going to do it. But this is just fine and peachy, 
peachy keenerific. Um, I want to see what I can do here. Let's get a mini. I'm going to cut a little mini in half. We need a little extra support. Did I cut it? Nope. Alrighty. Down at the bottom here. So that's what we'll do. One there. One there. The stem is on its own. So let's remove those. I actually try to hit the um, the garbage so I don't have to clean up after the video. <laughs> it's not lazy, it's efficient. Right about there. I like it. Who forgot to put on the I did, I did. Get off of there. Look, I didn't push that down really hard. Okay. Oh, I love this trim, but I, and I do not know how I managed to get it all wound up like that. I don't know. It's a mystery. So I'm trying something a little bit different this time. So I haven't cut it yet. I'm just going to make loops and pinch it in the center and see how it looks. And then try to figure out how I'm going to, oh, I know how to put it together. No, I do not. How many loops do I want? Probably that. It's a little bit more trim than usual, but I wanted to see, let's see how we can do this. I was going to say tape, but you'll see the tape under it. So I'm just holding that pinched. Wow. As women, aren't we amazing that we can use tools and talk? Well, okay, that's debatable sometimes with me, but and talk on, and get her all done. I'm going to put one on the top as well. It's so stuck to my finger right now. Okay, settle down there, you. It will make sense when it's all together. That's actually sticking not terrible. Because when I put this down on top, it, it should, in theory, yeah, keep everything in place. Uh, a little higher, let go of that. You know, I usually do the loopy thing, but this is kind of a long pinched loop, so we'll call it different. I like it. All right, and the inside, again, not wasting that piece. I'm going to go this way this time. Should I go this way? Oh, you know what? I think I will, because this made it look like, I don't know, I didn't like it. And this, I didn't like it. But if I was going to do this, I'm going to do it to this end, because I would normally sign my name here, and that seems to be in the way. So we'll do it this side. Okay, got it. I am going to go right to the edge, and... Try to measure out about four and a quarter in glue. Almost. Pretty dang close. You know, we can always put glue under after the fact. With our... You can use whatever you have. I use my... I like to use my... Take your pick tool. And again, I've said it before. If you get glue on your take your pick tool, just take it off right away. It's so much easier to clean it early on. That looks cool. I like it. And I don't have to put any there. Good. That worked out. Okay. Everybody out of the way while we finish up. So I do hope you're excited about bonus days. It's always an exciting time now that they're back again. Bonus days left us for a little while, but uh, always. Um, now I know I've done this before, but I just want to show you. When I'm, this is why I don't glue the center, my fingers are there. When I'm trying to line things up and know I'm not perfect, I set it. Check that this, this, and this, they pretty well have all the same borders. It may not fall exactly straight, but that's why we have, that's why we have Tombow multi-purpose glue. Okay, two seconds. I organized, well, again, for the BOGO cell, my BOGO cell, I organized my ribbon. So I finally took out all the ribbon that is um, a couple years old. We don't need that. Comes in handy, but right now we don't need it. And I do realize that this is gold. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to put silver with it. Um, these are 
kind of sedate colors. Um, I guess in the spectrum, we would call those cool colors, I think. But I really, really like them. Actually, you know what? I think we'll go long with this one. Yeah, I'm not even going to trim that down. I'm going to leave it as is. This one, a little more bunched up, but that is fine. That's what I was, I was looking, I don't know how I managed to do this. <laughs> I'm looking for little groupings. And then, um, maybe, yeah, I have to use up the larger ones, so. We'll just go with three for that, kind of nice little grouping. Alrighty, I did promise you. As I quickly put a few things away so they're not laying on my desk. There. That I had a third card. And here we go. Once again, not a white card base. Shocking. Alrighty. So this is on bubble bath, which I want to call bubble gum for some reason. You know what? When I first saw it, I thought, oh, that's going to make such cute baby cards. Guess what? Um, yeah, it makes... Um, any kind of card. This is the same paper, so I've used three different uh, shades of the ombre in the Bright and Beautiful, and this one resembles most the card in the catalog. Um, so again, the same border dies. So we have three different border dies. This one shows up the least, I think. Um, this one probably, I don't know, probably the most. I lost this piece. Um, it turned out to be like, I don't know, when I say lost it, it's in the recycle. Anyway, this one is on Berry Burst. This is on the um, Bubble Bath again. A little bit of ribbon there. And Iridescent Gems. And I did that same splatter. And, although I can't see what you're saying, <laughs> I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope, again, I hope you're excited about uh, this Thursday the 6th. So much going on. Save the date, my BOGO date. Um, I'm, it's only for Canadians. I cannot sell to people in other countries. Sorry. So it is for Canadians all across Canada. You don't have to be local. There's this thing called shipping. It's expensive, but it's worth it with BOGO. Because with, with BOGO, it'll be on the same time as bonus days. So you not only get BOGO, you get bonus days as well. Like, how awesome is that? It is going to be spectacular. Alrighty, my friends, I'm ready for supper now. I know I haven't had supper again. Um, thank you for watching. I, I really appreciate you joining me. Um, your shares, your comments, your likes, your thumbs up, the love. I make a terrible heart with my hands. And if you're watching on YouTube, um, subscribe, please. Thank you, and see you next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Bye-bye.